Lori McGoldrick spends hours a day on her feet. She is a hairdresser, and for years she has been suffering from painful varicose veins. My um, legs were always felt heavy and tired and, and just swollen, and not, not like a, more like achy at the end of the day. At the UCLA Health System Radiology Center in Manhattan Beach, Lori has been undergoing the latest and most advanced treatment for her varicose veins. Chronic vein disease tends to be inherited. There's an abnormality in the collagen and the elastin of the vein wall such that it expands. And as the vein expands, the normal valve that comes together can no longer come together, right? There's a larger diameter. And when the valve cannot come together, the blood flow goes the wrong direction. The faulty valves resulted in Lori's blood pooling around her ankles and bulging veins around her knees. To solve the problem, Dr. Hoffman uses a technique called ablation. Using ultrasound for guidance, Dr. Hoffman threads a fine catheter through a small incision in the mid-calf or knee and guides it into the major superficial or so-called saphenous veins in the leg, and a bit of numbing solution is injected. Now we'll take our catheter. This is the radio frequency element. A delicate heating element that uses radio waves is deployed through the catheter to heat the veins from the inside, causing them to collapse and eventually disappear. At one year, if we were to do an ultrasound of that vein, we wouldn't even see it. It literally shrinks up and goes away. And so the deep veins work more efficiently and the patients have much less bogginess, heaviness, pain, spasm, eczema, etc. in their legs. It's all done through a hole, no larger than the head of a pin. I had a big green one, a huge green one that was right here, blue one, that got removed. You can see the small indication they're going away. And Lori went through the ablation process a few weeks ago. It looks, it looks so much better. But Isn't it so much better? Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Today, Dr. Hoffman will clear up the smaller remaining branches and spider veins using a procedure called sclerotherapy. Using a vein light and an experienced eye, she locates and injects the veins with a solution recently approved by the FDA called polydocanol that closes the veins so they too will eventually disappear. So here, for example, this was a whole big area of blue and red small, what you would call spider veins. And then when we put this down here, I could see the underlying hub, the kind of the center of the wheel and target that and massage it into all the spokes of the wheel and get it to close off and now you can see how it's more white. It's not painful at all, it's just uncomfortable and my legs feel like really um, not heavy anymore, not a heavy feeling. It's amazing, it's the best thing I ever did for myself.